What is up, Risk Takers? Welcome to the Kill Pete Strategy. I am I am a top player playing Risk Global Domination. I have a daily release on YouTube, and I stream on Twitch Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 10 a.m. to 12 noon Toronto time. If you are interested in getting better at the game of Risk, I invite you to subscribe to my channel and come along the ride with me. If you're able to support me on Patreon and help me continue to do this work, I would be most grateful. And if you are looking to get notifications for when I go live on Twitch, uh, sign up to the Kill Pete Strategy Discord and click the notification button and we will let you know for the next stream. Okay, we're doing classic Pete settings here. On my alt account, Isambar the Sneaky, currently ranked 100. And 49 on the world leaderboard settings for this game are world domination on Britannia advanced auto setup 60 second turn expert ai we don't start with any progressive cards balance blitz dice no fog no blizz no alliances i'm in the final position um i'm pretty good with my start here and we're doing this one live on twitch thank you yoda j5 for the prime sub thank you thank you yeah i love this map this is a top tier progressive map for one key reason there are only four bonuses so you're never going to hold them. You pick land, which is Scotland in the north. You have Eru, Ireland, plus eight. Sivri, which is Wales, is a six for six. The only one you could potentially hold. And England is plus seven if you can hold it. This is uh, Britain in Roman times. So the languages are um, Old Celtic and either Latin or Old English. I'm the blue player. I have a middle position. I'm going to want to consolidate a southern position. So my uh, my goal in my first turn, I'm expecting the three stack to die. There's no way to split it out. So if it survives, that's gravy. My northern position is going to be off of this two stack. So I would want to move that into the Orkneys or the Shetlands. The Orkneys are occupied by Magenta. So the Shetlands it is. I'm okay with two positions. But given that I have a five in the middle of the board, I'll probably end up in a three position game. But this is fine. This is a fine opener. Take a quick look at our opponents. In the first position, we have Gustavo Kenji flying the flag of Brazil, playing as red. In the second position, we have Hal Andy from USA playing as magenta. In position three, we have Antonio Bernaccia, five from Spain, playing as orange. In position uh, four, we have Hoaxer. Also from America, playing as white. In position five, we've OG Adventures of E3, playing as black. Who gives me an open to move my three? Do I want to make two attacks? And as I said, I'm in the final position. This is the Anything Goes Pete account, currently ranked 149 on the world leaderboard. Okay, black is a big ass stack in the bottom. Does that change my game at all? Where's that going? She's gonna take Cornwall. I'm gonna lose my two in the bottom left. Or he sits. He sits. He sits in one of my favorite positions. Okay, this is a great spot. This territory, West Sax. One of my preferred positions on this board. Thank you, not Jux, for the sub. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Despite my best efforts, it actually looks like I completely give up the southern position. I mean, maybe I try and hang out in Cornwall. You know what? That. There's the hedge. With a single troop in the Cornish position, I'm going to try and spend this three. I'm going to add one here. I'm going to add the rest in northern Scotland. So I'll have this one moving down, this one staying here, this one hopefully surviving, but probably not. And that is my logic. I want a southern and a northern, but because black is so strong in the south, I think I'm going to lose. So I don't want to spend any troops adding material into the, the bottom when it's not the true bottom. Cornwall is a true end of this map. And I'll just put a sneaky little troop there and kind of hedge a bit. So I got two sixes and they're not super separated. So my next turn, I'm going to want to split those sixes apart and migrate. I do like going last in free for all progressives. Ireland position? Never. I don't mess with Ireland. If someone wants to take Ireland's off to the side. So I would say all things being equal on this board, 
I would choose to be in the Orkneys, I'd choose to be in West Sax, and I'd choose to be in Isle of Man, which is perfectly right in the middle of the board, right? One, two, and three, and then you can kind of attack out from all those directions. We'll see where we go from there. Also get a quick refill while it's not my turn. Does Orange bot? No. They moved to Fortify. They just didn't end their turn. In the nick of time. What coffee am I having? I'm having vanilla hazelnut Zavita that I get from Costco. The guy I grew up with, his dad had a flavored coffee company. So I happen to really love it. Oh shit! Pete is live! Good from YouTube. Hey, Cy Moot! Good morning, sir. Good morning, good morning. Yeah, Black's putting all his material on the bottom, which tells me that what's going to happen long term is Black is going to expand out of the southern position or get wise and try and move into Wales. French press is like the worst way to make coffee. You see how much fucking coffee I drink? Could you imagine if that was all French press? It's a ton of work. Let's make a buttload of coffee. Thank you, Tazmaster, for the bits. Thank you. Good after fucking noon, Mr. Peatman. That is Mr. Peatman to you, sir. Um, okay, so Black says I want this. See, I don't want to double down on the position. So what I think I do is I accept that all of this material is lost and I don't add to it. I also accept that White wants Scotland. So I give them a road that looks like they take it. These two suck. They're both useless. This three is eventually going to get slammed by black. Maybe it gets slammed now. I'm starting to regret putting that even one extra troop there. But it's okay. Because I have a six and an eight. In, I have a lot of material in Scotland. White's going to want to take it. I'm trying to predict what everyone else is doing. Also, we have to add to the equation that people have gotten a lot better at free-for-all progressives. So... Red will allow me to link this two into the six. Or let me sit here. Which still groups my, my two stacks a bit too close together for my liking. But at least I get... Maybe I can put it in Ireland. And I'll have two separated middle positions? It's possible that could work. Okay, White's going to lose all of their material in the south soon and then what then they have two positions this two and only in scotland white being in a single place is good <laughs> hello google youtube xanta <laughs> what's an aero press for coffee no i don't know what that is All right, 
right, so orange is in three positions. Seven and nine and a four. I'm not actually expecting that four to live forever. Where does the seven go? Yeah, whales. Okay. You'd probably dislike it. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to make a lot of coffee. I'm not trying to make a messy little bit of coffee. Or it's making multiple coffee. Okay, there's no reason for that. Newbish behavior. The watching shadow. Thank you for the bits. Thank you, thank you. Do the thing. <laughs> Shmoo! Chemex gang, rise up. What's the Oh no, did White just piss away two and hit my three? It wasn't a three. What was it? It was an eight. White just suicide slammed into one of my positions. Ah, that's a that's disappointing. I'm still I still have 22 to their 11, so I line up to kill them now, right? But that is fucking disappointing. Hmm. I do. I need I I actually just need caffeine injections is how. Do we see black roll 4v3 or is this three toast eventually? Yeah, they don't roll 4v3 yet, but they will. Okay. Well. Disappointing to say the least. At, le at least I have a lot of positions. Now I'm going to just gently wrap my hand around my throat. And squeeze at the appropriate time for this motherfucker to die. There's a two stack here in Ireland. That needs to go. Don't have cards. Gotta go. Good luck in the game. Alright, Finn. Have a great day, bro. You, sir, enjoy yourself. Bearing in mind you just got suicided, you're still quite strong. Yeah, they decided to randomly hit my best stack. All right, come on, Magenta. Hit that too, baby. Come on, Magenta. Hit that too. Magenta's kill guarding white effectively. Poppy Lord, thank you for the prime club. Hey, Pete, how can you see the rank of your enemies? You can't anymore. You used to be able to, and they have turned that ability off. And it's for the best. Is best, bro. White BMW. <laughs> oh, is best. Okay, Orange going to take Wales and hook all of his troops into that position. Okay, so White will lose this one. No, Orange single stacks. Orange single stacks. Okay. Fine, what does white do? Something stupid, probably. Yeah. That's fine. White runs. Okay. White runs. I lose my three. Black roll 7v3. Now I'm in trouble. Both of those twos are not strong positions. The only saving grace is that there are two of them. So what I'm going to do, is I'm actually going to add to the northern two and go that way. So this will now be my southern position. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to split into three positions. They're weak. But I don't want to be next to this guy if he's already slamming my stacks for no reason. So we move in to the fifth turn. I have okay kill lines for white, assuming this is gone. But this still exists, and I don't see why Magenta would remove it. Any plans for YouTube shorts? No, I think I would need somebody who was able to... Um, digest my content and edit it for me. And then maybe I would give them a kick. 
of whatever the revenue the shorts generated. I think that would be the most the most sense making way to do it, because I don't have I don't have time to both produce this content and also um, edit it. I don't really have time for post production. I want to focus more on uh, on just regular production, right? Do I make my own thumbnails? No, Kali does it. I can't. I I am not talented with any of that shit. So I just I say I'm happy to pay. Kali is uh, an artist, so she does a good job. What's up, OG? How you doing? Hey, Pete. Glad I could finally join a live. Been binging your YouTube videos. Awesome. Editing does require some know-how. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, Parlux, um YouTube YouTube said shorts are uh are being promoted now, so maybe we can we can work something out, buddy. I know you're an enterprising young man. Magenta card skipped. Yeah, and then orange slammed them. I think they die. <laughs> Hey, Gold is here. Does anyone else have an issue where Twitch doesn't let you know where Pete goes online? So join the uh, the Kill Pete Strategy Discord, Gold, and then um, there's a notification that you can sign up for that tells you when I go live on Twitch. Use your Discord instead of trusting Twitch to do it for us is the solution. Okay, white sets. It's a good thing I moved my stack away. White sets. Ajantis789, great to see you live. Started playing after seeing your vids. Keep up the great work. Welcome. Welcome. Man, there isn't a ton of magenta left. And they card skipped. Then again, I have less troops than them still. Okay. Wouldn't be shocked if orange hit me. Hmm. I kind of want to move away from everybody's fucking stacks. You won't feel safe anywhere. No, that's what we'll try and do. We're trying to move around or to black. I'm gonna sit on five cards might be a mistake. Let's see who tries to kill who. The sets start coming in. Red gets the six. Magenta skips, which means orange gets the 8, which means black gets the 10, which means I get the 12. Red gets a single taken passes. Moist critical fan. <laughs> What beer do you like? I like uh, Trappist Ales. I like strong beer that you can age. Okay, white loses one of their exteriors. We need, we need this to go. Peace lying in reverse PP. Yes, this is my drink of choice. That's going on YouTube, you motherfucker. I prefer pee pee, um, is what I like to drink, according to the first monkey with AIDS. This whole video is getting fucking demonetized thanks to you. <laughs> you also happen to know uh, Shkrelex in the chat. The Vellum F has subscribed to the Prime Stuff. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so Orange finally decides to move in to Wales, but they're not fully committing. I need this to die, and then I can kill White. Hmm. 
do I have lines on magenta? What's my set? The 12? Let's see if black helps the cause a little bit. If these two territories get removed, I can kill magenta. It maintains their exterior. Okay, black sets gets the 10, which means I get the 12. Do I own any of them? No. Okay. No, I can't. Never mind. Can't kill magenta. Magenta is in the Orkneys. I lose my two. Magenta loses their two. Black and orange are going to fight. I'm going to pivot to a three position play. Black and orange are going to hit each other. And I'm just hanging out over on this side. Okay. Five troops apiece. I think we strengthen this a little bit more. Put a six or a seven. Yeah, let's have ten stacks. Three ten stacks is fine. Move into the neck, pivot away. Black and orange want to fight. Black's going to have only one direction to go, so I might as well be on the other side of orange. Orange can't hit me with his big stacks from this position. This, this position is actually quite safe, and then I can move it into a consolidation next turn. Do I have cards? I don't. Okay, so Magenta survives. They get the 15. Let's see some push-ups. Let's do that on not my turn. Okay, what is Magenta doing? They have a big middle position now. Hey, Mallory's here. How you doing? They're killing White. White dies. Okay. Then what happens? Magenta's going to set and get the 20. So the rest of this game is going to hinge around how players interrupt Magenta. Oh, we got a lift redeem too. And a stretch. All right, hang on just a minute, guys. I'm trying to pay attention to this. I'll give you your fucking point. You relax, okay? You just relax. Okay. How people play around this. Will determine how the game goes. Now I can move back into the north. Well, maybe not. Orange doesn't know what to do. Orange seems fairly new. Do you need these three blocking territories through the middle of the England? One, two, and three open. It's also key in the late game. They attack out in so many directions. Yeah, fuck. I'm not in a good place in the card order. I'm gonna lose that too. Man, this two has survived all game. Do I like pet sounds by the Beach Boys? Sure, the Beach Boys are great. I like a lot of things by the Beach Boys. It reminds me of going on uh, vacation with my family as a kid. We go on these long drives and uh, listen to the Beach Boys on tape. Okay, well, it makes sense 
for me to put myself in more positions just to make me even harder to kill. We have to survive to that next trade. Which is hopefully now. No, we got four. Fuck, we die. Okay, no, we got cards. Sweet, cards. Fuck yeah. Okay, so let's see if we can win this game. Uh, red's gonna be holding five. Red is definitely the fish now. 37, holding five. Their set, the set is at 25. And magenta sets. They're gonna kill red, get five cards set, and win the game. Fuck. Good game. Damn it. Yeah. Easy win for Magenta now. What? Or they do that, which is a mistake. Magenta makes a fatal mistake. They're going to kill Orange, not set. Also hold five cards. I can kill Red and Magenta and get five cards for each. Unless Black beats me to the punch. I think I win this game easily. I'm going to kill Red set, kill Magenta set, kill Black. That's the sequence. Kill Red set. Yeah, kill red set, kill magenta set, kill black in the bottom. Cool. Good. That was a that was a fatal mistake by magenta, ladies and gentlemen. Um, if they killed red, which they could have, they would have had five cards. They would have traded in turn. They chose to kill orange. They didn't set. Now they're holding five cards, which means they die. I hope you all see how that makes sense. What a choke. Yeah. Pete thinking he can lose, but he always wins anyways. I don't know. I'm just kind of narrating my thoughts, right? So the thinking is what gets you killed, what gets you killed, what gets you killed is more important usually than how do I win? And then when the win presents itself, you just keep it. Right? That probably makes sense. Black also holding five cards. Everybody dies. Good. I won the game. And we see a sweep kill. I hope you all enjoyed. See, now this would be the short, right? If you were making shorts, you do like a sweep kill turn, but you do it like emphatically. Thank you, YYY Kaya, for the prime sub. Thank you, thank you. Gentlemen, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope you found some of it fun and entertaining, maybe even a little educational and informative. If you are interested in getting better at the game of Risk, I invite you to subscribe to my channel and come along with me. I have a daily release on YouTube and I stream on Twitch Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 10 a.m. to 12 noon Toronto time at a minimum. If you are able to support me on Patreon, help me get this work out to more people, I would be most grateful defeating three experts in intermediate and novice. We'd probably go back to like 146. 144, looking good, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed, and until next time, for all of you on the path to world domination, good games, and good luck.